Bang! Knees and eyes. I'm Jared. My lovely wife, Kara, is relaxing. And in this video, we are checking out the best tech thin. So now this knife does come in different colors. The G10, you see how the G10 is multicolored. It does have other colors and then a uh, coated blade and uncoated blade. So I wanted to check this thing out for a couple different reasons. I need to get more best techs on the channel, but it's pretty unique, it, and I know a lot of people are wondering right now, is it double-edged? No, it is not. This It, it looks double-edged, doesn't it? But this side, you can see right there, it does have a flat spine. Now, the flat spine is going to be good on this because then you can actually put your thumb there. And there, there's probably a couple people wondering, well, can you sharpen it into a double-edged? And I will talk more about that during the review um, and after I check it out and really see how possible it'll be. But the action is set up. I'll say this. The action is definitely set up to where you could. And I'm only saying that because I don't need to push the back of the blade to close it. On this example, it does close very easily. And you do have the little bit of jimping right there where you can kind of push on it. But, you know, you, you don't really see double-edged knives on this type of setup normally. Normally they're on OTFs or maybe a knife, like a fixed blade that has uh, this choil and, a you know, and a setup over here too to stop you from going like this. Because, man, wouldn't that... You know, suck, you get a nice fresh edge on there, very sharp. And then you go to cut down a box or something like that, and you put your finger right on the edge and slice your finger open. You wouldn't want that, so you want an indicator warning you against it. Like if I was holding it this way, this would be my indicator. This thing would be in my way, kind of. But either way, um, it's not the best geometry, but it kind of makes sense because... it. Um, you got to think about it. This is the thickest part of the knife. So from here to here, it gets thin. From here to here, it gets thin. So it's tapering. You have only this much cutting edge right here from here down. But once you're cutting and you get over that hump right here, the rest, it's going to go right over because it gets thinner again. So we'll see. This might be a good cutter. Um, I love these grind lines, though, man. Let me wipe this really quick and show you the grind looks amazing the satin finish looks beautiful they did a heck of a good job on that that looks so good love it love it love it it's almost perfectly down the center i say this side is a little tiny bit bigger than the top as it should be the g10 looks really really cool looks good it's nice texturing it feels nice and soft nice in the hand it does have a little bit of jimping back there and this is just thick enough for you to actually put your finger on any thinner it would be sharp but it's actually just fine the tip nice and pokey edge is pretty decent this is 14c28 and i forgot to say that i apologize great steel love the steel very happy to see that steel let's check out the action Okay, so it has good sharp jumping on the flipper tab. Oh, yeah. Great. I can tell it's going to get better as I flick it and after I oil it and stuff. Nice, easy access to the lock bar. Flipper tab has good jimping, nice and comfortable, and it's pretty smooth on the drop. Looks like it's centered, nice and centered. Uh, pretty close, pretty close. Deep carry clip. Yeah, I love the Warwolf. I have the Best Tech Warwolf here, and so you can see the size of the knife. It is a full size knife. Looks like about a three and a half inch blade. Um, don't quote me on the specs until the review, but it's got to be pretty close because this is a three. I think this is a three and a half inch blade. But I love this knife so much. The Best Tech Warwolf has one 
amazing, amazing ergos. And number two, the action is so good on this knife. It literally, the, this looks like it'd be slick, but it's really not. It just, it just works so good. Love the flipper tab on this. And the blade shape, yeah, it doesn't have the best blade geometry, but it's set up going towards the things you're cutting. One, it looks like a great defensive knife, but two, it's just a great utility knife and a great EDC. That's a great, great knife. So I was kind of wondering if it was going to be as good as that. I also love the Best Tech palette, and I need to get more Best Techs on this channel too. So, so far, I like it. Um, I don't know if I love it yet, but I do like it a lot. Um, I'm hoping after I get a little bit of testing on it. Um, I like that it has a choil right here. I'll say that. I'm not sure about this sharpening choil, though. Uh, it, it might be okay. It might not. It looks like I can get a couple sharpenings out of it before it hits. But there's a signal right now telling me that... It's um, deceive. It's deceiving. Then I'll show you what I mean. It's hard to see on the camera without probably being in person, but when I look down this edge right here, this pokes out ever so slightly right there. Now, that usually means that the plunge grind ends right directly there. Now, I know you see the plunge grind ending right where the top of my nail is. It looks like it. But watch when I play with the light a little bit. You see how like there's a grind literally right there too. You know, you can see it right here. Um, one side is a little higher than the other. So it's possible that one side the plunge grind misses it. The other side it possibly hits it. We'll see. I mean, it might be just fine. I might be able to, like I said, get like two, three or one good sharpening out of it before it starts messing with the plunge grind. I don't know. You know, like I said, we'll, we'll, we'll see. But I do like the fact that you have a little finger choil there. But it uh, you are close to that blade. So, you know, you do have to be cognitive of that right over your finger right there. Look at, watch when I move my finger. That's edge. So when I'm pushing really hard right there, I'm pushing up into this part right there. So you're really close to the blade, but as long as you're careful. And this is going to be a good knife to do, you know, like, I don't know about utility cuts, but kind of like those type of cuts. Really cool. I like it so far, and the review is coming very soon. If you want to check out a review on it before my review you can go check out this old sword dave over there has a great channel and he's already reviewed i think two of these um yeah i think he's got the coded one and the non-coded one but anyways i love you guys thank you guys for watching the review will be coming very soon. I'll try to push this one pretty quick since it's kind of a newer knife. I love you guys. Peace.